Hallelujah. Good evening to you all, brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. Good evening, families and friends. Hallelujah. This is our sister Massa coming to you with this evening video, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Praise be to God Almighty. This is our sister Massa coming to you with this YouTube video, this evening, families and friends. Hallelujah. I come to bring the good news of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to, to you, brothers and sisters. This is the word of God coming from the throne of grace this evening. To you, families and friends. What's it where you are? Hallelujah. Show me on this YouTube video, trusting God in our generation, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Praise be to God Almighty. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I give you praise. I give you the glory. I give you the honor. I give you the praise that you deserve all praises, oh God. I give you thanks. On this live video, God, I give you thanks. Thank you, God, for your faithfulness. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for healing. Thank you for favor. Thank you for power. Thank you for opening doors, oh God. Father, I come to lift up your name in this place, this hour, this night. Hallelujah. I come to glorify your name for your faithfulness on this platform, trusting God in our generation, concerning our youth, our children. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Thank you, Jesus, for your word that is coming forth, O oh God, on this platform. I pray, O oh God, that it is trusting, O oh God, this platform is about trusting God in our generation. What God means to the children, youth, and our young people, O oh God. This platform is all about the young people, the youth, and the children. And so, Father, I just bless your name, O oh God. I just honor your name. Even adult can also follow this video to listen to this video to teach their children, O oh God. Father, I want to tell you, thank you for your word this evening that is coming forth to your people, O oh God. Let them be the hearer and the doer of your word. Hallelujah. Touch the heart of the youth, O oh God, your children, your precious people in our future generation, in our third generation, O oh God. Our children are going through peer, on a peer pressure, stress, and depression. Hallelujah. Every brainwash program, oh God, they are programming these children where, oh God, we come against them with the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus over our children's life from the crown of the hair to the source of their feet, oh God, I pray, oh God, our Lord, no demonic power, oh God, shall prevail over the life of our children, our heritage, our future generation, oh God, our children, our heritage. Father, I bless your name for our children, our youth, our precious and loving children, oh God. We pray, oh God, that they are brainwashing, the system is brainwashing them, we come against every demonic evil power against the life of God. We pray, oh God, that these children will grow up in you, oh God, to learn, to fear you, oh God, to walk into righteousness with you, oh God. Holy Spirit, visit and minister unto your people, unto your children, their youth, their parents, oh God. Show yourself, oh God, to these children, parents, oh God. Father, make the parents, oh God, to begin to teach their children, oh God, from the day of their youth, oh God. Help us to teach our children, oh God, that they will not depart when they get old. Papa, I thank you for your word that is coming forth. That Lord will not only be the year, oh God, the message is going to everyone, every mother, every family, every parents. Hallelujah. And for, for the younger one, then the older ones, oh Father, every child for that matter, and youth and the older one. Father, we thank you, thank you, we bless your name for this message that is coming. I thank you, thank you, Lord, I bless your name, oh God. Let me disappear. You could appear in this place to speak to the heart of your people, your pressure and loving people, the future generation, oh God. We thank you, thank you for our future leaders. We thank you, thank you, God, for this children, oh God, our Lord, they will, they will humble themselves, they will seek your face, oh God, and walk into righteousness according to your purpose and your, 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 your purpose concerning the life and the destiny, oh God, you call the destiny and the key to the life of the children and not the enemy. The enemy has no power over this children's life because he said from the time of creation, from the day of foundation, you knew us and you chose all to be your people. And so, Father, you have chosen these precious ones to be your children that you're going to guide and lead and protect, oh God, in this world from every wickedness, every place of the enemy enemy against the life will not prevail. And so, Father, I tell you, thank you and I just bless your name for your faithfulness, for your grace and your healing and your power this evening. Lord, I exalt you. I give you praise. I give you the glory. You are highly lifted. You are highly exalted. Take your glory and have your will. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. And let your will be done. In the name of the Father, the Son, and blessed Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Brothers and sisters, families and friends in the Lord. This is your sister Massa coming to you with this evening video, families and friends. Do not mind the quality of the video because it is dark. It is after 8 o'clock here for me. Hallelujah. I'm on the light. This is why it is dark. This is why you see the video like that. But brothers and sisters in the law, I come to greet you this evening to bring the good news of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, families and friends, to you concerning our youth. Hallelujah. Concerning our youth, families and friends, I come to tell you the good news. Of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ concerning our youth, our children, our precious and loved children, brothers and sisters. We ask for God protection over these children. We ask for God mercy over these children. We ask for God favor over the love of these children. Hallelujah. God mercy, His direction, 
a peace that surpasses all understanding over the love of our loved one, our children. Hallelujah. That will not be carried away by the enemy plans. Every demonic evil power working against the children will be destroyed through the blood of Jesus, families and friends. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. He is the author and finisher of our faith. There's none like him. He shall glow no man. Brothers and sisters, I come to greet you and I come to bring a good news to you this evening from the throne of grace to tell you that this is the time, brothers and sisters, that we need to hallelujah. This is the time, families and friends, that we need to pray for our children. Our children are going under peer pressure. Our children are disturbed. Our children are confused. They are frustrated. They are going through pain, depression. All these things are happening to these children, brothers and sisters, because of the world that we find ourselves in today, families and friends. We need to pray for our children, oh God Almighty, have mercy. We need to pray for these ones that God will come and protect these children. That God will give them the understanding and wisdom for them to know how to fear you in the, in the time that we are living in. Hallelujah, praise be to God. I came into the light on the side, brothers and sisters. So I came to tell you, brothers and sisters, this is the time for us to be what? To be able to pray for our children in time like this, brothers and sisters. We need to pray for our children. We need to ask God to have mercy upon these children, our future leaders. Thank you, Jesus. The God have mercy upon our children. We need to pray and stay in the gap for our children for delivering, for them to have the focus in mind. Brothers and sisters, let it be determined. Hallelujah. Let it, my eyes be open to physical and to the spiritual things of this world. Let it not be carried away by this, by, 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 by. By the, by the society or what they see in this world they are going on peer pressure they want so much in a very short time they are not patient they can do any sacrifice they can do anything brothers and sisters to run a competition life is not a competition life is how high you work towards to make things happen for your life you need to what you need to fear God you need to get, give your life to God and honor God for what you are doing you need to fear God brothers and sisters you cannot have anything in this world. You cannot have everything that you want. Everything comes with time. It comes with sacrifice and time. Brothers and sisters, you cannot have anything. So, brothers, sisters, families, and friends, on a YouTube video, hallelujah, I come to encourage the parents to be able to stand firm in the gap for the children, to pray for the children and the well-being of our children. Our children have been brainwashed. They are, they are, there are so many things that are making them to go astray and be confused and frustrated. They are, they want so much at a cut time of period, a short time of period, brothers and sisters, they want everything in this world. They don't want to go through the, 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 the patient for them to get material thing. Their eyes are also open and carry away to uh, uh, carry away by getting so much material thing. And this is where the enemy will get this children from the, 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 the loss, the spirit of loss, from the loss after material thing. They should not, they're not supposed to loss after material thing. Because everything in this world is vanity, brothers and sisters. Everything in this world is vanity. We need to seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and everything will be added unto all, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. We, everything in this world will live it and go one day. We are just here on a farm. There's nothing that we own yet. Everything that we have here, we will live it and go. The day when God calls you, you will leave everything here and go. And go to where you came from. You came from the dust, you go back to the dust. Families and friends, hallelujah. Praise be to God. Thank God for Jesus. Hallelujah. I will read for you, families and friends, the book of Proverbs 22, verse 6. First of all, I will start, I will read for you, families and friends, excuse me. I will read from Proverbs 22, from verse 1 to all the way down. A good name, hallelujah. Families and friends, a good name, it's rather to be chosen than a great riches. A good name is rather to be chosen than great riches. The Bible says. Your name, your character is very, very important for you to have. Your dignity, your honor, your pride is very, very important than the riches that you have. You cannot seek after riches, families and friends. You seek after riches in this world. Eh? You see, after riches, and forget about your well-being, your character, and your conduct. Your character is very, very important than riches. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. So he said, a good name is to be chosen than great riches. And a loving favor than a, a silver and gold. 
a loving, a loving favor, then save and go. A loving favor, then save and go, families and friends. You need to be favored by God, then save and go. You know, do things that will please God, then save and go. That's what he said. Hallelujah. Then he talked about the rich and the poor meet together. The Lord is what? The maker of them all. He said the rich and the poor, they meet together. The rich and the poor meet together, but what? The rich and the poor meet together, and the Lord is the maker of them all. The rich and the poor meet together, brothers and sisters. But the, the, God is the judge for everyone. As the rich and the poor meet together, God is the judge for it, for the rich and the poor. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. A prudent man forsake what? Evil and hide himself. But the simple pass on. There are the pass on and are punished by humility and the fear of the law are riches and honor and life. The way you humble yourself, brothers and sisters, the way we carry about ourselves, we humble ourselves in humility, in the services of other people, to have love and care for other people, brothers and sisters. And the fear of God are the riches and honor of our life. We care ourselves above, brothers, and bring ourselves down, humble ourselves in humanity to seek humanity for people. All we have humanity for people, brothers and sisters. Humanity, pay in this life, brothers and sisters. And the fear of God, the fear of the law, our riches and honor. The fear of God, our riches and honor in Christ Jesus, families and friends, in humanity. How you bring yourself down, how you carry yourself a boy in this world, brothers and sisters, not to make yourself proud, don't feel yourself, see yourself too big and proud. Hallelujah. Then voice 25 say, Toes and snails are in the ways of the of the fowl. The fowl. But he that doeth keep his soul, hallelujah, shall be far from their end. Sex say. Hallelujah. This is the most important part I want to read to you. But I just want to read from the beginning so you can understand what we are heading to. Then he said, Train up a child. Proverbs 22 verse 6 says, Train up a child in a way he should go. And when he is old, he won't depart from it. Hmm. Brothers and sisters, God is telling you and I to train up our children, our child. Brothers and sisters, there's no limitation in Training up a child. Let me tell you, families and friends, bring your child in the goodness of the law, in the presence of the law. No limitation of a child to be saved. A child can be saved at the age of three years old or two years old. There's no distance, a barrier in salvation when it comes to when it comes to the land of children. In bringing up our children. You can be two years old, you can train your child to be a Christian. You can tell them the, the goodness of the law. You can teach your children the scripture. From the, even when they are one year, begin to teach, train the child up in a way that he or she will go, that he, he and she will not depart from the law. Brothers and sisters, Christianity and salvation is not no limit on any person. Anyone can receive Christ Jesus. Anyone can learn the word of God. Anyone you can start to teach a child from the day when they were born. Brothers and sisters, when they are two, three years old, when they can understand, begin to teach the child the word of God. Bring them in the fear of the law. The Bible says, train up a child in a way that when he grow, he won't depart from it. That is our responsibility as parents to bring up our children now. In time like this, brothers and sisters, to bring them up in the way of the law that when they grow older, they won't depart. There's nothing that can move them. Their, they will, their back will be established. They will have a good foundation that no demon or no First prophet, whosoever can kind of mislead them and tell them that two of them, two women need to get married, they say yes, but that is good, or two men need to marry, or say that is good. No, brothers and sisters, bring your child up in a way that when he or she go, they won't depart the word of God. Say, and the second scripture reading will be taken from Mark, Mark chapter 10, from verse 13. Let me read Mark for you. Hallelujah, praise be to God. I will be reading on the YouTube channel only about children. The salvation of children, how we need to train up our child, children in the fear of the Lord, brothers and sisters, on the YouTube platform. 
just going in our generation is about the youth and the children now i have turned to that way it's also about the older people older people can go and watch the video but it's mainly have to bring up to uh, bring awareness to our youth and our children how they need to carry about themselves how they need to live their life in the eyes of god hallelujah thank you jesus it is mike chapter 10 i'll read for you mike chapter 10 Prince Peter called Mark chapter 10, verse 13. Mark chapter 10, verse 13. Hallelujah. And they brought young children unto him, that he should touch them. And his disciples rebuked those that brought them. But when Jesus saw it, he was much what displeased. And say unto them, Suffer the little children to come unto me. And forbid them not of such is the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Jesus said, They should bring the children unto him. When the, when the people bring, brought the children unto Jesus, the disciples never liked the idea, but Jesus told them that they should not, he was displeased about how they were treating the children. He said, Leave the children. Do not Stop them from coming to me. He said, bring the children. He said, what? Well, and Jesus saw the earth and he, he was most displeased about, he said, 13, he said, and they brought young children to him. They brought the young children to Jesus. Jesus loved the little children. That is why he said, let the little, little children come unto me. Hallelujah. They brought the little children to him and he should what? That he should touch them. Little children, when it says little children, they were age two, three, four, five, all the way up, brothers and sisters. Jesus, you cannot hinder and you can't stop children from coming to the law. Child can be young and they can accept Jesus Christ, they can start to learn the word of God. There's no limitation. Let the children come to know God at a young age that they will grow up, brothers and sisters. They will not be deceived, they will grow and be granted in the things of God. The backbone and the foundation will be highly granted in the, in the word of God and in the kingdom of God, in the things of God. When he brought the little children to him, that he should touch them, Jesus, they told, Jesus told them to bring the little children to him so he can touch them. They brought the little children to Jesus. So Jesus can touch every one of them and bless them. I pray for them. Hallelujah. And his disciples rebuked those people that brought the children. They started talking to the, 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 the parents that brought those children. But when Jesus saw it, he was much displeased. He became displeased with them, what they were doing. And he said unto them, suffer the little children to come unto me. He said, do not stop the children from coming from me. You can't stop the children from coming to me. He said, for what? For they are Such are the kingdom of heaven. He said, for, for such is the kingdom of God. Such is the kingdom of God. Little children are blessed children to come to the Lord. God love for the little children to come unto him. We cannot deprive our children from coming to God. We cannot deprive our children from knowing God at the early age. God will hold we the parents responsible if we do that. Hallelujah. We need to teach them now while they are young. Very, very, I say unto you, he said, moreover, more, uh, whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of God as a little child, he shall not enter therein. Hallelujah. He said, very, very, he's telling them, whosoever will not be like the little child that will humble themselves. Eh? They will not enter the kingdom of heaven. You and I have to be like a little child that is willing and acceptable and honor and humble like the little children. We have to humble ourselves like the little children. As the little children are humble. That's how Jesus is telling you, if you are now like the little child, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. And they, and they took them up in his arms and put his hand upon them and blessed them. Hallelujah, praise be to God. And when he was gone forth into the into the way, there came one running and knelt to him and, and asked, Good master, what should I do that I may inherit eternal life? Thank you, Jesus. And Jesus said unto him, What thou, what cause thou mean good? There is none good but one that is God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And then he continued to teach and said, Thou knowest the commandment. Do not commit adultery. Do not kill. Do not steal. 
He's talking to the little children. He was speaking brothers and stuff. He said, you know the commandment? He was telling about the commandment. He said, that to command, that can, um, 19 said, that knows the commandments. Do not commit adultery. Do not kill. Do not steal. Do not bear false witness. Defraud not. Honor the father and the mother. Thank you, Jesus. And he answered and said unto him, Master, all this have had observed from my youth. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord, this one was about someone that needed to be saved, brothers and sisters that were lost. Hallelujah. 19, I stopped to 19, brothers and sisters. I stopped to 19. Thank you, Jesus. No, 20. And he answered and said unto him, Master, all these things have I observed from my youth. I stopped to 20. Then I'll read to, I stopped to 20. Then I'll read to 2 Timothy 3.15. Thank you, Jesus. 2 Timothy 3.15, quickly. It's all about children. 2 Timothy 3.15. Second Timothy 3. Second Timothy verse, chapter 3, verse 15, brothers and sisters. He said, and, and that for a child that has known the Holy Scripture. For a child, Jesus was very young at a young age when he started to go into the sun, the, 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 the sunny goals in, 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 in the temple. And the temple now in the sunny goals, brothers and sisters, to go and speak his father word to, the, to his people. Samuel was young when God called him, brothers and sisters. There are so many people in the Bible, men of God that God called at a young age. We need to come to God to know God at a young age, brothers and sisters. 15 say, and thou for a child, thou has known the Holy Scripture, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation, true faith, true faith which what? is in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For a child, brothers and sisters, that had known the scripture. Jesus knew the scripture for a child. For a child, you can know the scripture as well, brothers and sisters. Our children can know the scripture from the time they are small and young. They can begin to know the scripture of God, the word of God, brothers and sisters, while they are staying young. That when they grow old, they won't depart. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine. And reproof for correction, for correction in righteousness. Hallelujah. And somebody say that the men of God may be a be made perfect, true finishing unto all good works. This is the word of the law. Perhaps thy son of man may be what? Perfect, true all what? Finishing unto all good works. If you need know the scripture from your youth, families, and friends, the word of God say. Then I'll read for you. I'll read for you. Thank you, Jesus. I'll read for you, brothers and sisters. The next scripture is I to tell now. I to tell now, brothers and sisters. I to tell now. I'm gonna read I to tell now for you quickly. Concerning the salvation of youth, the children. R2 39. R2 39 reads. <coughs> Excuse me. For the promise is unto you and unto your children. God has promised unto us and to our children. And to all that are afar, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. As many, as many, as many the Lord our God can call as children. He has made his promise, brothers and sisters, to you and I concerning ourselves and our children. God has made a promise. And with many other words did he testify in the Zohar saying, Save yourself from the, unto the generation. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Then they that gladly receive his word were baptized. In the same, but the same day, there were added unto them 
about 3,000 souls. Thank you, Jesus, that accepted the Lord Jesus Christ, that, were, that got baptized from the word of God, brothers and sisters. And 3,000 souls were baptized on that day. Hallelujah. And they continue still fathers in, in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship and in breaking bread in prayers. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. If, hallelujah. I thought the 42. Thank you, Jesus. The next scripture, brothers and sisters, next scripture is taken from the book of uh, uh, Act 2, 22 to 42. No. Matthew 18, brothers and sisters. Read Matthew 18 from 3 to 4. Read Matthew 18 quickly. Matthew 18. Matthew 18. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. At the same time, Matthew 18, I'm reading from verse, verse 1. At the same time came the disciples unto Jesus, saying, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Hallelujah. At the same time, Jesus, the disciples came to Jesus and asked Jesus, Who is the greatest of the kingdom of heaven? Hallelujah. And Jesus, and Jesus called a little child unto him and set him in the midst of them and said very very i say unto unto you except ye be converted and become as a little children ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven hallelujah brothers and sisters god love the little children to come unto him jesus more for us to bring the little children into the house of god to make to begin to teach the children the word of God, the kingdom of God, the goodness of God, at the early age, brothers and sisters, if you and I, even in our older age, if we don't behave ourselves as a little child, to bring a hammer that ourselves down as a little child, we cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah, praise be to God. Jesus has said, has, has said it in his word. He said, and Jesus said, call a little child. After they ask the question, who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven, Jesus called a little child and set the little child in the midst of them. They were asking the question, and he said, Very, very, I say unto you, except ye be converted and become as a little child, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Whosoever shall humble himself as a little child, the same is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Whosoever that will humble himself as a little child. That person is the one that will enter into the kingdom of heaven because the little children are humble. They are very, very humble people. Brothers and sisters, they will be humble and willing to learn anything you rather teach them because they are humble. They have a very humble spirit. So we, the other people, have to humble ourselves. If we don't humble ourselves, brothers and sisters, for Jesus to lift us up and we take ourselves to be so proud, we cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. We have to be like a little child to enter the kingdom of heaven. Can you believe that, the word of God, what he's saying? That if you humble yourself like a little child to enter the kingdom of heaven, hallelujah, praise be to God. That's why he's saying to you and others, even brothers and sisters, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. And whosoever shall receive one such a little child in my name, receive me. Anyone that receive a little child, such, hallelujah. He said, and whosoever shall receive one such little child in my name, in the name of God, have received Jesus Christ himself. Can you think about that? If you repeat a little child, you treat a little child, you do, uh, you, 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 you mishandle a little child, you abuse a little child, you got God to deal with. You got Jesus to deal with because he said, whosoever have received a little, have received a little child, have received him. Hallelujah, praise be to God. But whosoever shall offend one of these little ones, which believe in me, it will be better for him that a lamb stone will hang upon his neck and that he was drawn in the depth of the sea. Oh Lord God Almighty, have mercy, oh God, upon us. Jesus of Abraham. It's Matthew from chapter 1, Matthew 18 from 1, I read it from 6. Uh, 6. Woe unto the world because of offense. For it must be, it must be, needs be that offense come. But woe to that man by whom 
offense come. Ha! Wherefore, if thy hand or thy foot offend thee, cut it off and cast it from thee. For it is better for thee to enter into life half a male rather than to have what two hands or two feet to be cast into everlasting fire. Oh God of Abraham, have mercy upon us. Families and friends, I stop to it. Hallelujah. I stop to it of Hebrew, not Hebrew, Matthew 18 from verse 1 to 8. I stop to hallelujah. Thank God for Jesus. I will be reading in the scripture, brothers and sisters. You are highly lifted. You are highly blessed this evening. This you are highly blessed on the YouTube channel, families and friends. I will be teaching on little children how God loved the little children to come unto Him. How we should not hinder the children from knowing God at the early age. We need to bring them to the to the to, 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 to the goodness of the law. To we need to bring them to the awareness of the word of God for them to know the word of God. Bring them and pray for them, brothers and sisters, and make them to grow in the things of God, knowing the scripture at the early age that they will not depart from the kingdom of God. He said, Whosoever that offend and abuse the little children. Brothers and sisters, it was better that you be cast into the sea where a lamb stood hanging on your neck. Hallelujah. So whosoever that mistreat a little child, you got Jesus. You got God to deal with, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. We need to be very, very careful about children in this world, brothers and sisters, because God, pressure, he take pleasure in the well-being of our children and children and the young people. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Father, I want to thank you for this word that I have come forth on it. Trusting God in our generation. I pray, oh God, even as I begin the teaching about the youth and the children, even the older ones of Father, I pray, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that God, you bless every heart and soul of these children, oh God, and their family and their parents. That Lord will be able to hack it onto your voice to make our children get to know you at the early age, oh God. That you said, train up a child in the, prov in the book of Proverbs 22, for it says, train up a child in a way that he or she, when they grow, he won't depart. Let us learn to train up our children in a way that when they grow old, they won't depart in the name of Jesus. And he said, whosoever that will humble themselves like a little child, we enter the kingdom, but whosoever that will not harm themselves like a little child will not have no eternal life. Father, we bless you, O God. I bless your name for your word. I tell you, thank you for your grace today. I tell you, thank you, O God, for this platform. And I tell you, thank you for your word that have come concerning the little children. Now, Lord, even as I will be teaching about the little children, how we need to bring our children in the law that will grow in the things of God, in our generation, in time like this, we need to pray for our children. We need to teach them the word of God in a young age. That when they get old, they won't depart. Father, we thank, thank you. I bless you for every family, every home, every parents. That Lord will not separate our children. We will not hinder our children from coming to know the law at the early age. This is the right time for them to know God. And so, Father, we exhort you. I give you praise. I lift up your knee high on this platform. And say, Lord, let your will be done, not my will. Teach the people, O oh God, your word today, O oh God, as a minute on your word. Hallelujah. I bless you and me and I honor your name to have your way in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Blessed Holy Spirit. Peace. I live with you now, brothers and sisters, families and friends in the Lord, the youth, the young people. Hallelujah. I bless God for your lives that God will keep and uphold you and make you to make a right decision in seeking his face and knowing God at your early age, in the young age, that when you get old, you won't depart, that God will guide and protect you and keep you and give you long life. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. God is good all the time and all the time he's good to you and I. I'll leave you with a message today. May you stay blessed. Let the God of ventures be with you and guide and protect you and keep you safe now and forevermore. May God make a face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you and give you peace that surpasses all understanding now and forevermore. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Peace I live with you, families and friends. Shalom. Stay blessed.